Hello there! In this tutorial we will go over the new Dimension Grids tool. When you open the file this is what you see. We have two grids. One is rectangular and one is hexagonal or triangle. So if we go over here we can see we have like thicker lines which is the grid and the thinner lines with, which are the segments. Also within the squares you see uh, the X and Y dimensions of your grid. And if we go here to the side, to the parameters, we can see we can set the amount of, uh, this is the, the other one, the rectangular one. You can set the uh, uh, units to meters, centimeters, feet, and inches. Now it's on inches. So if we go back, you see it's this many feet. Uh, 100 centimeters is uh, one meter. You can also set the decimals that you want. You can set the decimals to zero. You see it's just one meter. Uh, here we have the text size that you can adjust. We have also, uh, of course, the amount. So the dimension that you want your grid to be. So it's not uh, um, similar X and Y. You can make it uh, a rectangle, for example, two meters by one meter. Uh, and also you can look here the amount squares that you have so you can make the grid as big as you want if we put it back to 10 like this and then we also have the line width so that's the thickness of the thick line the grid line we have the line height you can also make it really high it extrudes uh, and then we have the segments so you can also add more segments if you want to, div to divide the space into 10 segments or like uh, in two like this so you get a non-uniform uh, grid which you can also do and then here are the materials that are being used for the grid and the background you can set your own materials if you want and also we can change the colors of the materials here if you want to use the standard materials so this way you can easily customize your own grid for your look of your render if you have a certain object and you place it on this grid then you can easily see the size of uh, the object and maybe you want to convey that to a customer and then render your object behind uh, on a background or maybe a background wall with the dimensions so that becomes clear uh, you can also toggle here the annotations if you only want to show the grid and in this grid we have hexagons and triangles and with this one the same you can set the amount of hexagons and triangles in the x and y dimension uh, here we can set the radius of the hexagons so make them bigger smaller uh, you can change them into triangles so if we go to the segments it's a subdivision so here you can see we have the um, triangles here we have the hexagons if we go into segment width we can make them a lot smaller and the grid width we can make that a little bit bigger so you can see what is happening you see the hexagons and now they're triangles and have also hexagons for the segments and then use a subdivision so you get uh, hexagons and hexagons inside or hexagons and triangles inside or the other way around just uh, what kind of grid you want to create and also uh, we have the, the grid lines, the width, of course, we have the segment width and we have the height of the pattern as well as with the rectangular grid. And also we have here the materials that are being used for the lines and the segment lines. And of course also the colors if you want to change the colors to your liking. So this is the uh, new grids tool. And uh, I hope you like it.